Hello there! We spend a lot of time here at SciShow Science News Bureau talking about diseases and global warming and messed up psychological problems. So how about this week, some good news? Like a new vaccine? Or a brand new monkey? Or perhaps I could interest you in some drunk pigs? How's this for some good news? Researchers say that they may have finally developed a vaccine for dengue fever. Dengue is a viral mosquito-borne disease that's become so common that the World Health Organization now estimates that half of the world's population is at risk. Most often, its effects are like a bad case of the flu, but in advanced stages, it can cause hemorrhagic fever, which is a leading killer of children in Asia and Latin America. Until now, developing a vaccine has been challenging because dengue can be caused by four different viruses, and the disease only shows up in humans, so animal testing is impossible. But using a vaccine made from weakened live viruses on 4,000 children in Thailand, where dengue is prevalent, the researchers found that it was about 70% effective in preventing the early stages of three of the four strains. While they note that this doesn't reflect how the vaccine may work against the deadly hemorrhagic fever, the findings are promising enough that the team plans to continue their testing in other countries. In other good news, it seems that there is room on the earth for at least one more monkey. Today, a team of US biologists said that it had identified a species of monkey that's entirely new to science. Named Cercopithecus lomamiensis, it was found in the evergreen forests of the Democratic Republic of Congo which remain largely unexplored by scientists due to their remoteness and the country's political instability. Despite its isolation, the monkey is considered vulnerable because of increased hunting for so-called bushmeat. Still, I take its discovery as a sign of all the awesome things we have yet to find on our planet, even in the most troubled places. Finally, if those two pieces of news didn't make your day, you should know that a bunch of pigs got drunk for us to know that red wine and vodka are good for circulation. You heard me correctly. Rhode Island Hospital conducted a test on three groups of pigs, all fed high-fat diets. For seven weeks, one group of pigs was given a bottle of Pinot Noir every day, another was given a couple shots of vodka, and the third was given no booze at all. Sad pigs. And now the results are in. The pigs that drank showed increased blood flow to their heart for different reasons. The wine dilated the arteries in the Pinot sipping pigs, while the vodka stimulated growth of new blood vessels in the liquor pigs. And in case you're worried about the pigs' health or them drunk dialing their bosses or hooking up with each other or whatever, the lead researcher took pains to point out that while the amount of alcohol the pigs drank would get any one of us drunk, pigs metabolize booze way faster, so they were, quote, nowhere near the legal limit. I don't, I don't think there's a legal limit for pig drinking. But the real question on my mind is, uh, do they taste any different? Let's see if the scientists uh, find that one out for us. Thanks for joining us this week on SciShow Breaking News. If you have any questions or ideas or comments, you can leave them on Facebook or Twitter for us, or of course, down in the comments below. We'll see you next time.